pray, I pray you. Who might be your mother that you insult, exult, and all at once over the wretched? What that you have no beauty, as by my faith I see no more in you than without candle may go dark to bed? Must you be therefore proud and pitiless? By what means this? Why do you look on me? I see no more in you than the ordinary of nature's sail work. <laughs> oh, it's my little life. I think she means to tangle my eyes too. No, faith, proud mistress, hope not after it. It is not your inky brows, your black silk hair, your bugle eyeballs, nor your cheek of cream that can attain my spirits to your worship. You, foolish shepherd, Wherefore do you follow her like foggy south puffing with wind and rain? You are a thousand times a proper man than she a woman. To such fools as you that fill the world with ill-favored children. Tis not her glass, but you that flatters her. And out of you she sees herself more proper than any of her liniments can show her. Oh, but mistress, know thyself down on your knees. And thank heaven, fasting for a good man's love, for I must tell you friendly in your ear. Sell when you can. <laughs> you are not for all markets. <laughs> well, cry the man mercy. Love him. Take his offer. Foul is most foul, being foul to be a scoffer. So take her to thee, shepherd. Fare you well. <laughs>